Hi there, I'm Miles Peterson, and you're watching the 3D Engineer. Today I have revamped my old STL-10 design, and this is mainly because the old design was very outdated, and uh, it just needed a good revamp. I've also done this with my miniature SD-10 siren. I have a video in the corner that you can check it out at. But uh, today I'll be doing a very short overview and test of my revamped STL-10 so you can see all the changes that I've gone through with it. And with that, let's get started. Okay, so here's the siren up close. One thing you may immediately notice about this new version is that the horns are now round. And uh, here I've actually got the old parts. Uh, some of the old parts for the old STL-10. Here's the old rotor. Uh, that actually hasn't changed much. I just reprinted it in higher quality filament. And uh, here are the square horns. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good, but I decided to go round this time. Square horns are still available, and those have been revamped. There's the old motor shroud, old air intake, very broken stator. Uh, there's a reason why I've redone that part. And uh, all the new parts are slapped on right now. Fun fact is that the only part I actually kept from the old STL-10 and my new STL-10 is the uh, mounting legs. So down there we have the three mounting legs with screws. Uh, still same screw size, number two. These are solid brass, uh, three quarter inch long. But yes, the legs and the stand are the only parts that are uh, completely original from version 1 of my STL-10. And so all together, it looks pretty darn awesome in my opinion. I also fixed the uh, pitch, which was a pretty big, pretty big downer on my old STL-10. I don't know how many of you have noticed it, but the pitch on my first version STL-10, it's pretty off. It's, it's, it's off by quite a bit. It's, it's lower tone than what it's supposed to be. Um, so... With this one, I've completely removed the 1 ohm resistor inside of the motor, uh, inside of the motor shroud specifically. Uh, and I also have redone the motor shroud, if you will notice. Here we've got the USB cable going in, and inside of there it's hooked directly to the motor with no modification, no speed controller, no resistor. It was perfect, perfect speed. I also robbed that motor, yes, from the same uh, gear motor as before. This is a TT motor. Yes, the motor is the same. A lot of the parts are the same, and now without further ado, let's do a test. Alright, let's get to testing this thing finally. As I have said before, the pitch on this guy is very accurate with no modification to the motor. That rarely happens, but it did happen on my Model 2 and SD10, so... Yeah, these little motors, these little 130s, some of them run at, the, at a pretty great speed for these little mini sirens. The cable on my STL10 is also original from the first version, and it's a very old siren. So it's probably probably around a foot long, so I have to have it really close to this power strip in order to power it. All right, now let's get the testing. Uh, short alert. Yes, the wind down on this thing is fantastic, as well as the pitch. The pitch is really good. Uh, pretty happy about that. All right, short attack. And there you have it. Yeah, what a what a pretty siren. You can't get more STL-10 than this. Well, there you have it. That was a quick overview and test of my Mini Federal Signal STL-10. Uh, this siren has gone through quite a lot of changes from version 1. Fun fact is, this is one of my oldest sirens on my channel, and in my history of making sirens at all. The first version of my STL-10 was actually black, and I installed it outside. Outside on a hot June day, that didn't go well, it melted, and those horrific failures gave birth to this beautiful siren in front of you. And now before I do end this video, I would like to announce that yes, I will be selling mini sirens in the future soon, so stay tuned for that. My mini STL-10 will most likely be a siren that you will be able to purchase on the internet very soon. 
so I hope you're looking forward to that as much as I am. Tinkercad files are available to download in the description as well if you're looking into printing your own. I'm Miles Peterson, and you stay creative.